Yo, what's going on guys? Gonna be showing you how to carry on Belveth here in Season 13. She's in an okay spot. You can think of her as a lesser version of Master Yi. So if he's picked or banned, she is a decent option because she really does function extremely similar. So we're just keeping watch right now. You typically want to start bot side best leash possible. You get a very big full clearing. You have infinite scaling attacks beyond your passive for farming. So full clear into ganks is generally the way to go on her. Usually your first Rift Coral in a very slow game will be from uh, a Herald or a Dragon. Heralds and Barons last for three minutes. Dragons and Champions last for one minute. And when you get the Rift Coral with your R, you get a bunch of extra stats, extra HP, movement speed. You get extra attack range and attack speed as well. And your Qs then start to go over walls. We're going to go ahead and auto-attack Q, auto-Q, auto-Q. It's important to mix in auto attacks, otherwise your attack speed will overfill on your passive and you'll be wasting a bunch of damage output. We'll smite it down. Level 2, you want to get your E. Your E, you can only really use once per camp because of the cooldown. So don't stress yourself out for holding on to it for a moment because it's actually better when something is low on HP. It does way, way, way more damage as an execute. So usually when the target's around 25% health is when you want to juice it and you heal per the damage that it does. Plus you get 70% damage reduction. We have uh, Conqueror with Triumph Alacrity, Last Stand, Cosmic, Free Boots. You can go for Lethal Tempo on Belveth. There's nothing wrong with that. In fact, Lethal Tempo is one of my favorite ways to play her. It can start to feel a little bit awkward though when you're kiting in between auto attacks because it's hard to tell like where your auto attacks start and where they end. So the lines can actually get kind of blurred with Lethal Tempo, so. Even though it might technically be better on paper, it can be a little bit more tricky to pull off, especially if you don't just like one trick Belveth, which I wouldn't necessarily recommend one tricking her. Like certainly you can, but I think at that point you might as well just one trick Master Yi. Auto, auto, Q, auto, auto, Q. I think she's a good backup champion to play. Like if you're a Yi main or an Evelyn main, she's a full clear style jungler pretty straightforward to uh, figure out her pathing. And then we'll whip it with the E. Get all that juicy life still. Nice. We finish around 318. Get another point in Q. We can look for a gank. Belveth ganks aren't the best. You usually want to get red buff auto attack pressure on the enemy. This doesn't seem to be warded. Auto attack Q through. Auto Q through. And now, now we're pretty much just going to jump away. Nocturne showed up, so we had to leave. Notice how we didn't W immediately, because if he did have flash, I didn't want him to just flash it immediately, and then the gank's 100% over. Instead, if I get my red buff autos on him, we can pressure the situation. It's a good thing we didn't die there. That would have been <laughs> very ugly. I'm actually going to go for a Kraken Rush. Bork's in a state right now on Belveth to where Kraken at only 100 more gold, 20 more AD, same life still, plus crit and true damage. With all your on-hit effects you can apply through your E, plus your extra attack speed, Kraken really is the better option. We already get all the life still we need through, through E, essentially. We'll go ahead and drop it, very nice. Our Q is AoE so we can slice through those small ones quickly. Nocturne stayed to do his full clear. That's fine. Like he stayed to take both scuttles because he could. I don't know if their Sen is trolling but she's topside right now. It's a little weird. Use our E and I'll continue the full clear. Right now we have an extra only 3.6% attack speed from passive. Not a whole lot. <laughs> Oh, man. It gets higher and higher. Towards the end of the game, it'll be somewhere around 50%. Mord's pushed up. He has Bramble. That's going to be very hard for me to gank. Though that's all auto attacks and on hit, so... Bramble's not something I'm looking forward to ganking. If he's not 6, though, I should be able to make it work. Plant comes in at 525. We're going to Q auto, auto W because he was standing still. We want to go through it, auto Q through. 
He's having trouble landing his Q because I'm trying to, with the way I'm weaving in mine in between autos, he couldn't really figure out where I was going to go. Plus, right when he Qs, I can Q and dodge it. Here, I'm just helping him push the wave. So, Mord misses as many minions as possible. Mord is my easiest gank. He's a mobile and he's also pushing. Very greedy. Pushing on Mord pre-6 is extremely high risk since uh, he doesn't have much mobility in his kit. His only mobility comes from his passive and it's only like a 3% speed up. It's going to be hard for him to get away from a dash spam champ like Belveth, which is why Poppy <laughs> is Belveth's worth, worst matchup in the game. Poppy jungle, Belveth has a 39% win rate against because Poppy knocks you out of your dash, you get stunned CC'd, she can with her W and she can knock you out of it with her E and R. Poppy has three different abilities to absolutely destroy Belveth. You can use your Qs to get around the map, especially from base or in the mid late game. Early game though, when you're in your jungle, don't do that because it's a long cool cooldown. But by the time we get here, it'll be back up. So it's whatever. Like you see, it's already back up so we can use it now. Per level, it gets lower and lower. Auto attack Q. Auto Q, auto auto, pop the E. Q through the whole thing, move on to the red buff. We hit level six around seven minute, that's totally fine. Six minute to 7.30 is your goal on Belveth. If you're hitting it later, you're probably not full clearing then ganking. Full clear ganking is the only viable route for her since her ganks are inconsistent early on. There's gonna be some games where you just straight up don't get a kill on her until you pick up a Rift Coral from taking Dragon or Herald. It's just how it goes sometimes. She's that weak of a ganker and they just took Dragon. For some reason, Senna keeps floating topside. Don't really understand that. Trying to gank York is no easy task. Down goes Senna, not sure what happened there. Might be having a flame out moment. Yeah, I'll, I'll go gank Mord here. It's doable. He's low enough health, even though he has a bunch of armor. I think I can make it work. I can dodge his skill shots. I'll ghost for this. Yep. Not a huge surprise. York can sit underneath turret, though. I got him with my smite. Let's take that rift coral. We got the assist, so we can pick it up. Need to get a, the kill or assist. One kill, one assist right now. I can push back down for my camps. I don't I don't plan on staying up here. <laughs> Just going to push it real quick. Auto attack in the eat. I'll take a plate while I'm here. We're getting extra attack speed right now at 10%. Time to leave though. No need to overstay. I still have red buff. I could go mid with my rift coral here or try to force a herald. Hey, Senna. Get her with my knockup. Q into E. Down she goes. She actually died before my E could really do anything there. We get some more rift coral. Perfect. We have a, another minute of duration unfortunately it doesn't stack so if you pick up three different champions like you can see here it only gives you up to a minute total max which is kind of annoying we'll get three minutes off of Harold. he doesn't have R. I'm surprised he's stepping up for this i can queue over the wall i'll hit him with a smite i mean i don't know what he thinks he's gonna do <laughs> Perks of having a uh, final form on Belveth through Rift Coral. It's nice. Sun is playing topside. She's going to solo lose this game for her team. Standard League meta. Bot diff makes the diff. It's whatever bot lane mental booms first. <laughs> Running out of my uh, Coral here, so can alarm go over walls. I want to go pick up a free kill on the Senna here in a second. She must have died earlier when he caught her in a cage is what it was. Underneath turret. Oh, wow. Okay, they're forcing it. I have Kraken. We win this. 
I get the knock of auto Q, auto auto Q, auto auto Q. I mean, I should be able to get to him. Q auto. I'll go ahead and take that coral real quick. We'll go for Emax seconds. Come on, Mordekaiser. I'm coming for you, baby. Got him with the E. Pop the coral. And down he goes. Got him with an auto attack. Get another coral. Go ahead and take this camp real quick. I'll push into Nocturne's jungle. I'm wondering if his red buff is up. If I don't have it, I'm the one who killed him. Whew, so looking at our passive, we now have 23% attack speed. Quite a bit. From 3 to 23. At this stage in the game, we're taking dragons and heralds. So really around level 6, you want to have sweeper. Pre-6, you don't have to have it. Nocturne is probably still not a full item. So he can't really fight me here. He might be on these. Not sure. Alright, he went, actually went mid there. Hmm. He's probably about to come over here. Nope, he's going bot side. He must have known. Interesting. I have ghost. I need enough space to chase though. Because he has his blast back tool. Alright, I'll ghost early for this. I need to get on top. Cutie, to get to him. Bottom him down. Almost knocked him out of the air. Auto in the Q, use the E for damage reduction. I'm going to Q away. I don't feel like dying here. We get the knock up. Auto, auto, Q. Auto, Q. Should be able to just run him down, honestly. Got him with my E. Barely lived that. He was stealing my stats with his R there. Holy moly, that was way too close. <laughs> That's the power of Bramble against Belveth. Absolutely chunks. I want Dragon, but I need to heal up real quick. Alright. I can go for it in a moment. Just want to get a bit more health. Get some E healing. We're also getting healing from Red Buff because we're on combat with champs or turrets 11 per second is decent enough I have some coral left might as well do it I can escape if need be uh, sucks Nocturne is a full item here it's kind of scary I don't think I actually win this fight yeah, I'm just gonna leave it was a bad Dragon call. I'm seeing on too much gold. You don't usually want to go Rage Blade second item. You want Bork. That's exactly what I'm going to go for. In fact, I'm going to delay tier 2 boots for a moment. They have a decent mix of damage on the Mord. They have the Mord, Ziggs for double AP, then they have triple AD, Nocturne, Senna, and MF. Senna and Nocturne have lethality though, or at least Senna probably will to where I'll Play did a most likely best here. They're not going to start dragon. Without the Nocturne is going to lose all of his health on it. He's not going to want to start it out raw. There's no way. Ward gets the kill. He's very low. If he stays, he's greedy. We have to make sure we're still getting camps. We don't want to be forcing random fights constantly. Especially if the enemies are stacked up. Belveth's similar to Katarina, where you want to go in once the fight is already starting to mature a bit. Because you don't want the enemies to dump all of their high damage spells on you. That's what we want to avoid. Does he think he wins this? No, you don't win that, my friend. He doesn't win it because I have more items. <laughs> Plus, I'm Belveth. Nocturne isn't made for that type of fight with lethality. Drop the W. Your W is not a channel, so if you're about to get hard CC'd, it's a good time to throw out W, or if the enemies are standing still for any reason. If they're CC'd, auto-attacking, using an ability. So it's when it's going to be easiest. Take that. Coral, we've got a one minute. 
Get some good utilization. Nothing to take, man. Where is everybody? <laughs> Where are all the camps? I want to hold on to my E because I'm in enemy territory. I would like to have a good finishing move to secure a kill. If I wasn't in enemy territory, I would use it for the faster clear. Since I am, there's no point. Plus, your E really doesn't do any damage unless they are super low on health. When they're at 20... Wait a minute. I'll hit the fix. Okay, I see. Oh, no way. That was awkward. Let me go ahead and queue over that wall. That was really awkward. I eat way too early for no reason there. Get her with smite, slow her down, get her with the knockup. I didn't get a chance to pick up the MF Rift Coral there because it was underneath turret. I didn't want to take a bunch of damage and get myself killed. You don't want to overcommit for it, especially if it's underneath the turret. That's how you die. Very bad idea. Although Rift Coral is good, it's not the end all be all. Just like how Kindred's not, she shouldn't ever really get herself killed for a mark. The autumn him down into E. We get the damage reduct, use R, heal, get more Rift Coral. And this is why Belvet's very similar to Master E. Once you hit your stride around, it's honestly level six, so you can get Rift Coral to get all the bonus stats. You can start to catch people off guard because they're just like, oh, Belvet's weak. They don't realize the level six, she can start to be scary. She gets in more gold. She's hard to get away from. She's hard to finish off because of her damage reduct on her E. 70% is absolutely substantial. I'll be taking this, <clears throat> then I'll be taking that. York may want because he's a split pusher. He's already going to be drawing massive attention, though. If they don't send anyone to match him, whether he has Herald or not, he's going to destroy their base. Belveth can go over pretty much any wall. You have your Rift Coral, even this one. Yeah, it's pretty nuts. Any smaller medium wall. I guess I gotta lay it. Now's the time. Is there anything over here? There is. Nice. We do get a turret. And I'll get I'll keep taking these camps. There's no reason to group underneath their turret when they have what they have. We'll go right over Smiter into W so she can't dodge it. Q auto auto E. Nice. When you run out of empowered auto attacks you, and they're below half health, you might as well whip your E into them. It's all part of the the upside. Being permanently rift coral like this by getting constant kills is a bit outrageous. I'm going to take their camps. I, like I said, I still don't want to do a dive. We're squishy. We need the fight to materialize a bit. The enemies to use some of their core hard CC, their core high damage abilities, and that can go in and wipe everybody. That is the plan. Oh try to keep my lead I have a very big XP lead right now oh they were fighting here I didn't even realize got the knockout auto Q auto Q Q through into E Belveth destroys more to anyone who's hyper skill shot reliant they can never hit you you have four dashes in this stage in the game my dash is on a very short cooldown as well I'm going to go inside of that, go on to the MF, down she goes, Rift Coral in. We're getting all of our little Voidlings because we're near the enemy minions when they're dying. Or I guess even on our minions. Q into him, drop the E. Yeah, that damage is nasty. Holy crap. Yeah, I think it's even on your minions. For the longest time, I thought it was only the enemy minions. Belveth, our passive is a 
short novel. One second. When you're on Rift Coral, nearby enemy. When you're on Rift Coral, your minions and enemy minions when they die. When you're on Rift Coral and you're nearby, enemy minions and your own minions turn into your little void lanes, which are useful for pushing down waves and taking turrets. Yo, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to part two. Up against a Vi this time, they have Teemo. That's kind of tricky. Vi has double displacements, Yon has double displacements, and Brom has a displacement on his R. So they have potentially five knockups plus a Teemo blind art. That'll be kind of tricky to get through. I said I was going to start red buff, so maybe Shen thought I wanted to start on the enemy's red buff. I'm just going to go ahead and get my ward down. I wouldn't actually mind getting an early sweeper because we're going to have to deal with Teemo Mushrooms at his level 6. So I think getting a super early sweeper here is totally fine. Totally, totally fine. The Teemo justifies it. So against the Teemo Shroom, Shaco Box, against Twitch Invisibility, having an ultra early Oracles, even with its high cooldown right now and the low cooldown in the wards is easily justified, I think. For our runes, we have Conk Triumph, Alacrity with Last Stand. Cosmic Magic Footwear with Attack Speed 80 and Armor. You can go for Coup de Grasse, but uh, Last Stand's a bit better. Auto Attack Q, Auto Attack Q, Auto Attack Q, Auto Q. Extra spicy. Go ahead and smite it because it's at a crisp amount of HP. It has lots of HP left. You just don't want to smite it if, let's say it has like 500 health and um, your smite to 600 true damage so it can be a little bit awkward in that situation go ahead and put down one more auto very nice draven could be an issue in the early game but overall our team way out scales with the shen r even though they have five displacements to handle us i'll wait until vi for example uses her qr to get into a fight and then i can go in and demolish just got to know when you can and can't go in. It's mainly dependent on do the enemies still have their main tools and their main lockdown tools. Can you dodge those tools? And honestly, we actually can dodge a lot of it. Like the Vi Q, I can dodge with my Q. The Brom R, I can dodge as long as I'm not CC'd. The only hard CC that I can't dodge is Teemo Blind Art and Vi R. Those are the two where it's going to be kind of annoying. For sure. Q auto auto, Q auto auto. Going top side here in a moment. Let's just smite him down. Timo gets first blood. That's all so many minions. Shen died at a very bad time there. It's unfortunate for him. Auto auto into the E. I'm gonna get a bit of damage and also get the life still. Finish him off. Look for Scuttle here. We finished around 320, high HP. Didn't need to use a potion necessarily, but Yon's rotating. That's making me nervous. So yeah, Vi was waiting for this. Kion is not rotating, so I'm just going to give it up. It is what it is. It's not worth dying. We're not power spiked yet, and we're not going to power spike for a while. It's really more around level 6. We can start picking up Rift Coral. On Rift Coral, Belveth is power spike, stronger than most. Enemy bot lane has not reset yet after a full clear. There's no reason they should have reset, so they haven't spent gold. I have damage advantage on them. Should be a good gank. Oof, scaring them away. That sucks. Then they know I'm here too because it was warded. A little unfortunate. Krugs just came up though, so we're not wasting too much time. Auto, auto, Q, auto, auto, into the E. Very nice. So yeah, bot lane forced it a little bit hard there. It's okay. We'll continue the full clear. Yon's a little bit tricky to gank since he has his dash. Auto W, pull them together. And they get absolutely melted by the AoE on the Q. How much attack speed are we up to? Like 3%? Yeah, 3.6. <laughs> Not very much. Early on, it's super, super low. Auto Q. We want to get it to about 20-ish percent health, then rip and dip the E. Get some juicy healing. 
So Teemo's looking semi-gankable. I'm a little bit nervous because that's a lot of minions. And Shen's going to die. <laughs> well, hopefully he doesn't die here for at least a second. My ghost is up. Hello, Teemo. Auto attack in a W. My E was on cooldown, so I couldn't actually finish Teemo off there, which is a little unfortunate. We should probably just push this out. I have my smite, too. Get this push. It feels weird to be taking his minions, but we need to hurry and push this. Timo's going to be back top lane here in a moment. Shen's still in a rough spot. That'll definitely help him find his footing a bit. Yeah, Timo's playing ultra, ultra aggressive. Uh, guess I'll buy that. And I don't know. I just have a weird amount of gold. I think I'll just grab Noon Quiver and, <laughs> and head back the lane. I don't want to wait for 50 gold to get some crit. We'll pick up Gromp, go for the Teemo. He only has tier 1 boots. He's killable. I'll leave my red buff up, but it's not likely to get over there and take that. Ziri can hop over walls. She can possibly do something. Plus, Kiana has lane prior right now. That's kind of annoying. Auto her down. I need to knock her up here. Yeah, nice try, guys. Timo really wants to get that auto on me. I don't know if I can catch up here. Looks like I can. Get her with the knockup into a Q auto E. I'm not level 6, so I can't pick up the Rift Coral. There's a mushroom there. I don't... Oh. This is bad. We get the knockup. That was a great Shen R. <laughs> that saved me so freaking hard there. I'm sitting on smite charges. <laughs> yeah, holy crap. I think I think he ignited me there. That was really well played by the Shen. We absolutely need to keep gold away from him. The Yon. Can't believe Vi actually took my Gromp and just randomly goes in my jungle when she doesn't really have the items to justify it. Yon has tier 2 boots. He's kind of hard to gank because of that. His base movement speed isn't bad, plus tier 2 boots, dashes. You can get his dash up very quickly. We can cancel it technically with our W, but it's such a slow knockup that it's not very consistent to do. We'll smite it into E. Get it nice and low. Uh, I could just do dragon here, I think. Get some rift coral going. Auto, auto, W, auto, Q, auto, Q. Might actually need help on this. Use my potion. Hopefully nobody shows up. Vi is dead. Yon isn't rotating. So if it's someone, it's going to be Draven if it's warded. That would be really bad. Dragons are hard for Belveth early on, as you can see. Especially when Dragon is a lot of damage. With the Earth, Earth and Flame, the attack's so slow you can mitigate at least one of the hits with your E compared to the wind which is it's attacking so rapidly you're not really benefiting that much it's a machine gun I'll run past the ward here Ugh, she can't follow up I was gonna hit him with a W I'm gonna get a red buff auto on him into a W knockup auto Q auto and E down he goes. Take that Rift Coral and get some more duration. He was greedy for lunging forward. Since I had Rift Coral on from the dragon, I could hop over that wall and punish him. Without the Rift Coral, your Q doesn't go through the walls. The knockup auto Q auto. I don't want to fight her there. She has red buff, and also I could tell she had item advantage. She was super tanky. Looks like they have somewhat of a rotation going on there. We'll hop over this wall. Huh, it looks like she took my blue. That's getting a little confusing. Oh, Timo took my blue. Dang. That sucks. I could go kill Timo real quick. Shen R's on cooldown, but he can block autos with his uh thing. 
Is this worded or something? I'm gonna sm get him with the knockup. I got him smite. I don't know. <laughs> that sucked. His blind dart lasted for 10 years. I have to go for Merc Treads this game. I'll be going Merc Treads now. Literally just needed one auto attack. Shen couldn't reach. I don't. I think he had his flash too, but he was trying to let me get the kill. It's just that blind dart lasts forever. Merc Treads, it is. I have to. I didn't go for tenacity in my runes, so I need something besides green jungle item tenacity. Ziri picks up the kill. Draven's extremely low. Ziri has a red buff as well there, I think. Yeah. Rom screwed then. You don't want to have to fight a big red buff Ziri like that. That's not going to be fun. I'm going to push into Vi's top side. She should be down in gold. She has less CS and less skills, so she will not have a complete item. Unless she buys something that's off meta, super cheap. Why doesn't she just break the ward? I'm gonna push in, take this. I have the items to do so. Ooh. Yeah, nice try, Yon, you little rat. Nice try, my dude. Great counterplay for us. I'll just smite it. Why is Teemo even over here? This is so weird. I don't understand. Shen's giving up minions to chase. What in the world? What are you doing? <laughs> I don't know what he's doing. Ooh, got you, friend. I think I can get her with one more Q. Or just pop her with the W into E. Nice. Give me that Rift Curl, baby. Yeah, taking the turret shots to get Rift Curl is so annoying. There's nothing over here. I'll go ahead and leave that right there. Not seeing Teemo. Did he reset? He might have actually backed. Huh. I guess I go for Herald here. She still have the item advantage on Vi. She wasn't able to get much. Is okay with me. We really should pull this out though. It's not good to have it this deep. Teemo isn't reacting though, neither is Yon, so I guess it's fine. Pop my E4. I don't want to burn Smite. Oh, wait, what am I doing? Gotta get my Rift Curl. Lies <laughs> over by her Gromp. Teemo just pushed in topside. Dragon's up in 22. I shouldn't have to reset for tier 2 boots here. As long as Teemo isn't there, he won't be able to blind dart me. I'll be fine. Auto Q auto. Could just finish it off with the E there. Yeah, we, we should head over. Harold and Baron give you three minutes of so Rift Coral. Dragons and Champions only give you one minute. So we have quite a while. Still have over two minutes left. When you're playing against Belveth, you should really push hard to not let her get heralds for that reason. It's a big deal for her to get it. Oh, Kian is in a rough spot. I want Yon to dash into me. We get all of our little voidlings here whenever an allied minion or enemy minion dies. I think we should just stall a dragon, honestly. Force them to start it type of thing. There's no real reason for us to start it. I'm still on Rift Coral here. Yono, what are you doing? I can go straight over this wall, my dude. We get the knock up. Auto Q auto. We get the coral. And it adds 60 seconds. That's cool. So since we had the Herald already, in this case, it actually adds duration. So yeah, Heralds are ridiculously important. Where are my dashes? They're on such a long cooldown right now. Got her with the knockup and the E. Oh, she went 
flashed that way. I wasn't expecting that. I didn't realize that uh, the pool, it builds up the Herald to three minutes. That champions could uh, fill that up. That's not how it works with champions. Or I guess that that is how, but it only goes up to a minute with champions and dragons. Oh, he blinded me. I keep dashing away. Nice try, Yon. Though this seems like a weird kind of counter to Yon. Yon can't land his skill shots. Auto into Q. Don't know why Zeri's trying to steal my stuff. Got my green jungle item off that as well. It's a lot of extra tenacity. Wait, I thought I had a teammate here with me, but I don't. What? Where'd they go? Huh. I could have just gone for Dragon, but I wanted to fight since I had the Rift Coral and I just got my green jungle item. He's going for Draven when Yon was literally like one auto attack. That's not, yeah. Alright. He has tier 2 boots, so he's going to be fine. Definitely need the Merc Treads. Second item. I think we have a couple of options. Second item. We should just go for Bork, though. Stack up the AD. Don't really want them to get that dragon. Huge throw on my part. I wasn't keeping close enough tabs on my teammates. I should have just checked to see where they're at there instead of blindly going in. Let's not let them have it, please. I'm in combat now, so I can't even lay my herald. How stupid is that? They get the dragon as well. Oof. Who is that? Oh, it's Kiana. I don't know if she could have done any less there. <laughs> she may even made this Shen R. She did nothing. Guess she didn't have her R though. Oh well. It is what it is. Could go for Yon here. Yeah, I don't know where he thinks he's going to go running like that. It's a good karma slow. Dash into him. Get the knock up. Auto, auto, Q, auto, auto. Q, E. We get the coral. And now we get to win the game. It, it's really as simple as you just fight with Belveth when she's on Rift Coral. Auto. And, ooh, I don't have my E. Got him with the Rift Coral, though. I'm actually going to die. Turret's so overpowered. Every shot was doing like 500 damage because it was heated up. Consecutive shots against champions. They heated up, so it was doing two and a half times damage there. And I don't have plated, so those shots were chunking. I should have just stopped picking up the Rift Curled. I was being greedy. It does a big chunk of damage. 200 true damage plus 25% of the missing health. So if enemy champs are low, it does... Essentially more than a quarter of their health if they're super low Because you have the base 200 plus 25 percent missing I think I have time to get rift herald. That's awesome I can play around that coral We are at 54 percent bonus attack speed. Ooh, that is nice That's A lot of attack speed We've been collecting so much. We'll move on to Herald now. Get three minutes. Do whatever we want at that point. Braum stun and the Teemo blind are two of my biggest issues right now. All Braum has to do is auto me and his teammates can set up the stun. I'll just smite it at two charges. Look for the Yone here. Oh, there you are, friend. Did I knock up? No, she's just still running. I see. I, was th I thought she might turn, so that's why I threw out my knock up. Kind of catch her out of the air and cancel it. There's nothing to farm over here. Timo doesn't have anywhere to go. 
Get him with the knockup. QE. Down he goes. Turret's just so OP, though. It's going to kill both of them. Yeah, that was not worth it all. They need to nerf turret damage. They buffed it last season, and then they buffed it this season. So if you don't have a bunch of armor, like Shen, he went double magic resist. It cuts through like butter, even if you have a bunch of HP. It's ridiculous. Got our little voidlings here. They're taking two turret shots. That's pretty good. It's a lot of tanking. Q into her. Cancel that dash. Auto, auto, Q. Auto, auto, Q. Got her with that. Couldn't quite finish her off. A little sloppy on my part. We need to finish hitting that. Get the knock up. Finish him off. Got him with that. We'll Q out and pick up some more Rift Coral. We get a little bit of heal off that. Nice. Pick up another Rift Coral and we're chilling. Got all these little void things to help tank real quick. And that is GG's. Let's take a look at damage dealt, damage taken, and runes. Looking at damage dealt enemy champions, we have the most in the game for damage taken. Most in the game for self-mitigated. Most in the game. All right, that's balanced for runes. <laughs> a lot of damage. All in all, Belveth is solid. She is viable. However, if the enemy team has enough hard CC and your team lacks a proper frontline, she's pretty unplayable, similar to a Master Yi in that situation. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. My name is KingSticks. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.